Welcome back guys, Death Beach here, and I've got some exciting stuff to show you. Now these articles are from September and August respectively, but the news is huge. We'll start here on this first one. Dapper Labs and Block Party join forces to bring a new breadth of digital collectibles onto Flow. That probably sounds like nothing to you, so we're gonna read on and kind of define a few things, right? Now, Block Party, the New York-based rare digital collectibles marketplace that launched last month to foster more meaningful fan engagement for artists and musicians and sports teams, today announced a partnership with Dapper Labs, the company behind CryptoKitties and NBA Top Shot, who will bring Block Party onto Flow. So Flow is the blockchain that Warner Music Group is going to be building on. A lot of other people are going to be building on, on it as well. And the NBA has quite a few projects coming out on Flow. Dapper Labs is just a company that creates digital assets and Block Party is the platform that sells it. But let's read on to find out just how cool this really is for you. Digital collectibles offer an alternative form of engagement to the in-person experience of art shows, concerts, and games and help artists and athletes incentivize long-term relationships with their fans. They can also expand their creative mediums and branded assets into digital and mixed reality and create more integrated fan experiences. The collectibles also provide users with insider benefits, including access to unique rewards and giveaways, such as VIP concert access or free swag. This is absolutely amazing. Now, if you wanted to create a visualizer or a unique music video, or perhaps you create an album that's uh, a concept album that tells a story, and on each song there's different characters, you could actually create little collectible characters that these people can sell and trade, or I'm sorry, buy and trade with each other. Some of them could also offer unique access to different parts of your website or to different virtual reality shows. What? Virtual reality shows? That's right. So, Title in August of this year, purchased Sensorium Corporation. Uh, I'm gonna jump around here a little bit, but basically, Sensorium Corporation has created the Sensorium Galaxy, which provides users with access to an all digital alternate universe. Immersion in this multi-user environment allows users to craft their own unique virtual representations and get rich social experiences through the VR technology. This is the new stage of evolution of social networks, when users are no longer limited to one-dimensional platforms. We're talking about virtual reality shows where people are there attending as avatars of themselves and as we're gonna see, they can even bring some of the cool collectibles that you're already selling them with them to the show. Now, Chief Operating Officer at Title, quote, our relationship with Sensorium provides Title with the opportunity to gain exclusive rights for its stellar artist roster to have their shows and music broadcast exclusively within Sensorium's themed virtual entertainment worlds. The Sensorium Galaxy is a next generation platform for entertainment consumption, which will elevate the connection fans have with their favorite artists and bring the artist's vision to life in new and exciting ways. This is what I've been talking about. You need to create a world that you're bringing your fans and your whole community into. Your world is your community, if this makes sense. What are you providing in your world for your fans? Whatever you're imagining, this type of technology is going to allow you to do wholesale. Based on Unreal Engine 4, Sensorium Galaxy will be able to provide users with access to virtual music and entertainment concerts they would otherwise be unable to attend. Look, first off, this is for people around the world to be able to participate in anything that they want to participate in. But now, with the sickness in the world, this is for everybody on all levels local global whatever reading on chief communications officer at sensorium corporation quote this is very important transaction that will not only propel sensorium galaxy forward but could also see world famous artists creating their own virtual music projects in sensorium worlds end quote 
Now this sounds really exciting. The thing I don't like about this is that he says we can watch world famous artists. I want that for you. I want that for me. I want that for our community. Uh, you know what I mean? I want that for world famous artists because they're going to be able to do it top shelf. But like, we want to eat too. Now the best part to me is that although VR headsets offer the best in class immersive experience, the Sensorium Galaxy will also be accessible through PC, iOS, and Android applications. So no one will be left behind. Everybody will be able to participate. This just only can expand your fan base and expand what you're doing as a creative and as an artist. Now, as one last piece of uh, technology information here, November 11th, Audius has big numbers by crypto standards, but can it take on SoundCloud? So again, Audius is an Ethereum-based streaming app looking to take on Spotify and Apple Music. Like many blockchain projects, Audius is both a company and a network controlled by token holders. Now, what's really important about what they want to do, though, and what they're talking about here with SoundCloud is new music discovery. Let's roll down here and just find out. I was reading some stuff about the token there, but right now, Audius is mainly a way for new artists to build an audience. The site is dominated by EDM artists with hip hop as the second largest genre. And there's hardly any other acts from any other categories. It's also overwhelmingly underground, but it does have a few acts with strong followings such as Skrillex. The project described itself as picking up where SoundCloud left off as a way for music junkies to discover unknown acts and get the thrill of knowing new acts first. So it says here that Audius opens up a plethora of strategies for artists they can create interesting new ways of enlisting fans and helping them to grow their brands. So for example, they can lock tracks, only allowing access to users who have, for example, shared one of their songs or who hold one of their personal tokens. So basically, you can encourage your current fan base to share your song by telling them that whenever they do share it, they'll get an unlocked brand new song that nobody else gets to hear. How cool is that? I would totally do that for some of my favorite artists. So guys, this wraps up this segment of the future of the music industry with Death Beach. Uh, do me a favor, share this with people, like it, comment down on it below, ask questions. This is a rapidly expanding space. I promise you by this time next year, some of these things are going to be happening. Let's do this together. I'm really excited about it. If you have questions, let me know. Like I said, please share this with other people who are willing to take action. And I'll talk to you soon.